SMU and the Crimson Tide of Alabama, two outstanding schools with solid traditions. The heart and soul of the Mustangs is Lance McElhaney, the winningest quarterback in Southwest Conference history. Lance is complimented by number 21, running back Reggie Dupard, who led the conference in rushing. The Tide is paced by Walter Lewis, who has set or tied eight Bama records. With Lewis running the show, Alabama has averaged almost 31 points a game. SMU, Alabama, it's considered to be the best matchup in Sun Bowl history. A matchup on a special day, the golden anniversary game, the 50th annual Sun Bowl. And here's Bobby Collins in his second year as head coach of the Mustangs. And Ray Perkins, his maiden voyage, his rookie year at Alabama. Jeff Harrell will kick off. SMU won the toss. They elected to take the win to their back. This is Joe Carter. Carter to the 35. He's been averaging over 21 yards a return. The line of scrimmage will be the 37. Ricky Moore, the big fullback. He has five straight 100-yard days, and that's a rather impressive start to the afternoon. On a third and one, Moore stacked up. Going to be very close. Third down and two. That's Mendros in motion again. Here is Good. He's going to get the first down as he fights his way to the 40-yard line. Good goes in motion. And Lewis hemmed in. Good reaction by Mitch Willis, number 98. Linebiker, number 97. A loss of 10 on the play. Third down now, seven for SMU. Depard. He'll be dropped at the 27-yard line. He'll be short of the first down. Looks like the blitz might be coming. They faked it. Lewis on target to Jesse Bendros. Bendros has averaged over 17 yards a catch in his career. Good. Across the 35 to the 25 to the 15, 13-yard line. There's a flag on the play. The penalty was tackling by face mask assessed against SMU. Moore. Touchdown. 3rd and 3 for the Mustangs. Pleasant, Marquise Pleasant has a first down catch across the 45-yard line. SMU likes to run it on this type of situation, but McElhaney to spread out. And he's going to be a yard, maybe two yards short of the first down. Ricky Thomas, the strong safety on the tackle. Catching an option pitch, which is blind by Lance McElhaney a number of times, is just as difficult as catching a screen pass or a pass out in the flat. So you want a man with good hands as Dupart. And being cold today makes it even more difficult. Third and two. Mishandled snap. And Lance trying to get back on it. Alabama says they have it. Sammy Hood was the guy that recovered for the tie. Number 43. Of the 49, Lewis to throw. Richardson, Greg Richardson inside the 20. Richardson with a brilliant speed. Lewis with lots of time. Scrambles to the 15. He's to the 11. Richardson in motion. The pitch comes to Moore. Touchdown. Wide open was Morris. Ron Morris, and they gobbled up some yardage in a hurry, 26 yards. And now, as we start the second quarter, they have a second down eight at the 34 of Bama. McElhaney will make it to the 31, a penalty flag. 
John Hand again, the biggest player in Alabama history. The amazing thing is that first quarter, Alabama was going into the, into the win the entire quarter, of course, scored two big touchdowns, one after the turnover. From the 49 of Alabama. McElhaney in trouble. Randy Edwards, one of the co-captains, number 96, on the stop. Lewis on the keeper. Preston Gothard, the tight end. Very, very impressed with his staff. He's been with him for Southern Mississippi, right into SMU, most of them. Lewis, Ricky Moore. And Moore is close to the 49 and close to another first down. On the 49 on the third down. Richardson in motion, Lewis sneaks, but penalty flags are in the air. He had enough for the first down, but let's see what the penalty's about. Offside, you're right, you called it. First down from the 46. Joey Jones at the 30-yard line. And Ricky Moore inside the 20-yard line and let's see if they got the first down for him. Gary Good comes back into the backfield. Lewis. And the catch is made by Ben Dross at the five. Rod Jones and Ben Wise double teamed in there. Lewis on the keeper. Touchdown. that time and Atkins the ball is loose at the 50 yard line they unpile and who's got it they gave it to Alabama Lenny Patrick Ricky Moore in the backfield Lewis gonna go for a lot of it caught by Gothard the tight end about a yard short of the first down. That's Lenny Patrick in motion. And Lewis going to lose a yard on that play. Tom Linebarger, 97, on the stop out of Freeport, Illinois. And again, he's in trouble. He gets out of it to the 30. First down. The calmness of Walter Lewis. He really seems to stay aloof of all the intensity of the football game. Walter Lewis on target. That's Thornton Chandler, the tight end. Third down four. The draw. The ball is loose. Let's see what they're going to rule it. It is going to be SMU's ball. Michael Carter. The world-class shot putter on the 15-yard line. Let's see if SMU can build something from here. McElhaney back to DePard. And DePard gets eight, maybe nine yards. Kurt Jarvis, the freshman nose guard, made the tackle. Roy Dunn is now in a tackle. Hellestray remains in at guard. Third down two. DePard. There again, Pat, shows you how well DePard catches the pitch. McElhaney, and it's a wounded duck. And the interception is going to go to Freddie Robinson. A minute four left in the first half. At halftime, we're going to have a very colorful halftime for you. Lewis, first down. to Thornton Chandler to the 20. And they'll mark his progress of the 19. But the 19-yard line now. First down after that 25-yard completion. Puss. End zone. Touchdown, Jones. Unbelievable poise.
Pitching back to Atkins. He has a first down and he stops the clock with three seconds. And so the last play of the first half. And intercepted almost by Stan Gay. Our score at halftime, 28-0. Alabama, the Tide, really playing a remarkable first half of play. We'll be back to start the second half in a moment. Gary Bender, along with Pat Hayden, we're ready to go. The second half, Terry Sanders kicking off for the Tide. Alabama leading 28 to nothing. They're going to bring this one out, and now throw it. Pleasant. A new wrinkle out across the 15. There is a penalty flag at the seven-yard line. Let's see what are they going to rule on that. It should be a safety. There's a flag down if it's intentional grounding in the end zone. Because they had the safety on McElhaney, and he, in desperation, got rid of it. They're picking the flag up. Complete. Took his time. He got it out of there. Richardson at the 42. That kick was 36 yards. There comes the man you mentioned, Ricky Moore. And Moore to the 18-yard line. Russell Carter, we haven't called his name very often today. Good and Moore in the backfield. Look at the third down conversions. Here is Good. Good to the 22-yard line. This will be a 39-yard attempt by Van Tiffen. He's hit 14 this year. Set a school record in scoring. And this one is going to be wide right. So SMU holds. Second down, five yards to go. Up the middle. To the 20. Jeff Atkins eventually dropped by Freddie Robinson. 56 was his best previous to that carry. On a first down, McElhaney. Touchdown. Pleasant. Marquise Pleasant. Second and four. Ricky Moore, very close to the first down. Lewis, a lot of white shirts on top of him. Doug Holly, who's their best pass rusher. Kreitz and Depard line up behind this man on a third down six. And that will be a first down catch by Ron Morris. So SMU is clawing back into this game, an eight-yard completion. On a third and two, Morris, first down. You might have expected him to run there, but they go instead for the high percentage pass, an eight-yard completion. McElhaney, far side of the field. That's going to be Ron Morris again and Sammy Hood quickly up from his cornerback spot to make the tackle. McElhaney pitches back to Depard and he's going to be, uh, looks like, just short of the first down. Let's wait and see. Morris comes in motion. Give to Depard. He fumbled it. Alabama has it. The fourth turnover for Bobby Collins. Second down, six. Lewis. Walter Lewis running out of difficulty for a first down. Well, you're the Fred Astaire of the West Coast area, too, right? Your footwork out there? <laughs> Absolutely. Walter Lewis out to the 40-yard line. Larry Cox on the stop. Here he comes, Ricky Moore. 
First down. Cox again on the stop. This SMU defense has not had this kind of difficulty all season long. A draw to Moore. SMU is able to hold. It'll bring up fourth down. Kit Case is playing a well of a game here in this second half. From the 20, SMU trailing 28 to 7. Pitch comes back to Atkins. And Jeff Atkins comes out across the 25 to the 27. We start the fourth quarter. SMU trailing 28 to 7. Kreitz, the fullback, across the 30 to the 33. SMU doesn't have a lot of opportunities left in this game. And in a moment, we're going to show you a touchdown pass he threw to Joey Joe. Michael Haney on target. First down, Ron Morris with the grab. That's the way it stood at half, 28 to nothing. And then McElhaney Haney hit Marquise Pleasant, a 15-yard touchdown pass. That's where we are right now. Michael Haney in trouble. That's the second time he's been sacked. Emmanuel King, number 92. From the 20, third down and three. Oh, they may be offside. The flag. Lewis. Hardy Gowan was chasing him and eventually thrown down. That's Doug Holly. But for the, about the fourth or fifth time today, I believe Walter Lewis drew the SMU defensive front offside for a cheap five yards and a first down. That's exactly what happened. Sack of the day on Walter Lewis. Lance McElhaney on first down to Pleasant. There was a heck of an adjustment to the ball. That ball underthrown. Pleasant came back and caught it 46 yards on the play. 46 yards to the 21 yard line. Reggie Depard and Depard is over 100 yards. We've done it uh, 25 times. <laughs> Third and five. Got a new man in the lineup. Number 85 for SMU coming up with that grab, and that is Albert Reese, a tight end. Play action by McElhaney. Sets up the screen to depart. Alabama's equal to that, and they've been equal to about everything today. Fields, a senior, pitches at the last moment to Joe Carter. McElhaney, that's intercepted. That's Paul Tripoli, the fifth turnover of the game against SMU. Here is Joe Carter as we're inside 10 seconds. The other guy that they really to and he responded so well Walter Lewis Ray Perkins being carried off the field and so Alabama has won the 50th annual Sun Bowl 28 to 7. <laughs> 